Greetings everyone, I am Nirvana Sparkle. Well, here's a spark of thought for you. And yes, it's been a while since I've had one, but... Uh, the season 6 opener that you humans recently had just got me thinking. I mean, really. It got me thinking in a lot of ways but more specifically about that little notion notion of alicorns yes me being one an ascended one I know about alicorn strength but I would be lying if Little Flurry Heart wasn't a shock to the system. After all, Alicorns with the power to break agent artifacts with a cry don't come around every day. But this sparks of thought is not more or less how much power she actually has, but rather how much power she will have. It's more of a looking forward by looking back sort of thing. We know via Twilight Sparkle and the Crystal Heart spell that Cadence has always been rather, to steal a video game term, overpowered. I mean, shoot, all you have to look back on is that scene in in a Candlelight Wedding with the flashback. I mean, yeah, it takes a lot of power to change someone's emotions and then to find out that there are literal spells for that. Truth serums and emotional changers is rather interesting. Thank you, Sunburst. But that's another topic for another spark. Instead, guess how powerful will will the young one actually be growing up? Well, that's more of akin to how much research she wants to actually do. If she's like Twilight, then... God knows, she might become a god for all we know. No, if she takes up to her aunt. Or she might take a more approach to her father and specialize in one certain medium. Very powerful within that medium, but outside of it, not so much. Same thing with her mother as well. But... It's the idea of her family genetics, genetics that throws even the most calm theory out the window. So, here's my theory on magical power, and this could also recount to alicorns in general. Power in Equestria is only as good as what you want it to be. Literally, as Rose taking an approach, it seems that knowledge is literally power. The more knowledge you have, and the more skills you practiced and mastered, and the more frequent you do it, repetition also matters, the more powerful that a pony becomes. Really, Really, the status of birth or status of royalty does matter much. You do get a massive boost in power regardless. But that boost in power only accounts if you know alicorn level magic. If you do not, then the power doesn't really matter as much. The knowledge means more, not just the pure, pure strength and pure talent. Because if 
that were the case, then my beloved wife would already be more powerful than any phony in creation and practically be able to change dimensions as she sees fit. But the worst part about that is, is Flurry could very well have the power to do that as well, seeing that she's already got a tremendous head start. Think of it more like Goten and Trunks in a certain anime you watch about certain balls. You see, their parents had to train to become what people refer to as Super Saiyans in your world through, through decades of training and endless hours of pain. For those two, a Super Saiyan transformation was as simple as just do it. It could be that simple for young Flurry as well. But again, if my theory holds that knowledge is indeed power, it may not be that concrete. It may take years, proper training, and most importantly, proper control. Phonies are not born with an inherent talent to control whatever they do. They just do it. It's more like the thought crosses crosses their mind, it goes out one ear and out his power in another. But as they grow and grow more intelligent and by virtue conscious, they earn control over that power. But yes, there's even the matter of magic can be used to control, which is an even more creepy subject in my royal opinion, opinion, but in either event, Furry Art does throw some kinks into the alicorn machine, but not as much as you might think. After all, even the kid with the most valued talents on the planet needs a good education, like our world. Now the question is, now the question is, will her personality fit in with that education? There's a lot of wait and see, but if, but if her mother is any indication, ex expect, expect her to be be more Princess Diana rather than rather than Queen Elizabeth. And expect that to have, have their own possibilities after all. After all, she's just born. There's a lot of doors. But it's up up to the parents and more specifically the rest of Equestria to figure out the puzzle pieces. If knowledge is true power and and her family is any indication, then that breaking of the heart was just a sneak preview of what's to come. A trailer, if you will. Because she might be the most powerful of them all. It's all dependent on her. So my question is to you. Do you think knowledge in equestrian magic does equate the true power? And, and whether that is how we should distinguish magical power level? Or do you have another theory, theory on her? how things may work. And what do you see in the future for for the young Miss Hart? I would like to know. Leave a comment or even a video response that you would like to link me to to continue the discussion. If you would like more Sparks of Thought, make sure to check out the playlist 
or like this video to let me know that you want to see more. And of course, to keep up with everything that we at Code Equestria do, hit the subscribe button. You will be rewarded with a subscription of your own. After all, generosity begats more generosity. After all, I should know. And until the next Sparks of Thought, find peace in your own nirvana. And thanks for watching and tuning in.